Well, if you're a fan of The Simpsons, Brainerd Community Theater's latest production is right up your alley. Clayton Castle has the story. It's dark, weird, and not kid-friendly. Those are all phrases used to describe the upcoming Brainerd Community Theater production, Mr. Burns, a post-electric play. Well, it's set at a point in the near future when, for reasons unexplained, the electrical grid has failed. So there is no more electricity and no way to have any more electricity. The show starts around a campfire and the characters begin telling stories, including recreating an episode of a famous animated television show. And of course, one of the stories they come up with is is trying to recreate an episode from the Simpsons cartoon show. The show then involves the characters performing the episode as a sort of currency, receiving essential survival goods in exchange. Spradlin says he picked the show because it's a challenging show to produce. And the actors say that one of the most challenging things in Mr. Burns, a post-electric play, is the quick gear shifting. I mean, we have to go from acts one and two, we're on the same character, to act three, we're on a completely different character. And now having to portray him in a, a different manner, in a different way of doing things, and, and uh, showing you how, you know, what's happened, showing what's going on. Many in the cast were already huge fans of The Simpsons growing up, seen as an advantage in their performances. I've always really been, and my mom will confirm this, uh, kind of a huge fan of Bart Simpson, so getting to kind of play like a post-apocalyptic Bart Simpson is definitely very fun. Then there are some actors who were not familiar with the show. Not Necessarily, I was aware of it, like growing up, but my parent, my family never really watched it. I am now. I enjoy it. I haven't seen a ton of it, but I, from what I've seen, I really enjoy. Mr. Burns, a post-electric play, opens on Thursday night at the Schalberg Theater at Central Lakes College. Reporting in Brainerd, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. The show runs for the next two weekends at CLC. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.